Hey, it's Cal Warner here again to speak to you a little bit about Paraquat and the Paraquat litigation. It's been quite some time and there's an awful lot that's gone on since I last updated everybody about this case. Currently, the biggest census of cases is filed in Illinois in front of Judge Rosenstingle. That is a federal MDL, which means it includes cases from all over the country that have been transferred to her for case management. Bellwether trials have been set. Paper discovery is long since over and there are actual trial dates for actual plaintiffs on the books as we speak. Some of the more important things that happen in these federal MDLs is the defendants, especially in exposure to toxins cases, conducts what are called Daubert hearings. The defendants make these motions essentially challenging the validity and the scientific basis upon which the plaintiff's experts are forming their opinions and the court actually studies that as well. And there are federal standards, there's case law standards that suggest whether or not an expert's opinion passes muster. The defendants filed several Daubert motions challenging the basis for plaintiff's experts' opinions. It was fully briefed and Judge Rosenstingle held a full week's worth of hearings on these Daubert motions, and that occurred quite some time ago, and no rulings are out yet. Judge Rosenstingle's rulings on these Daubert motions will tell us a lot about the future of the litigation and these upcoming bellwether trials. Probably one of the most important things that Judge Rosenstingle is trying to do right now in a series of things, that, a series of orders, case management orders that she's entered, is clean up her docket. As time has gone by, it has become apparent that lawyers around the country got a bunch of these cases and filed them without taking a hard look at them. They really had no idea what they were filing. Paraquat is a restricted use pesticide. You can't buy Paraquat at Home Depot. And there are cases filed by people that when they filled out their paperwork said they bought the product at Home Depot. Paraquat has only been sold in liquid form for the past many, many decades. Some plaintiffs, when they filled out their paperwork, said they bought Paraquat pellets. Also, because Paraquat is a restricted-use pesticide, over the past several years, you could not buy Paraquat unless you were licensed to buy Paraquat. And some people said they bought Paraquat, even though they never had a license. So, as these issues have come to light, Judge Rosenstengel has said, I'm going to do some things to try to clean up this docket because there's cases in here that just don't belong in here. And so she's done a couple of things. The first thing she's done is she has required plaintiffs to verify that they have made efforts to ensure that their plaintiff or their client were actually exposed to Paraquat. Recently, as part of efforts to continue to clean up the docket, Judge Rosenstingle issued another case management order requiring everybody to make all efforts to actually issue subpoenas to the employers, the farms, the state agricultural agencies to see if those entities actually have documentation of purchase of Paraquat, use of Paraquat, or exposure to Paraquat. Because unless you have actual exposure and you can prove your exposure, your case has no business being in court. And the final thing is there are many cases that are filed in the Paraquat litigation where the plaintiff cannot prove with medical proof, medical records, medical testimony, that they actually suffer from Parkinson's disease, which is the signature disease that is the subject of this litigation. So if you don't have Parkinson's disease, you don't belong in the litigation. If you can't prove that you were exposed to actually Paraquat, you don't belong in the litigation. And the last part of this equation is there are a lot of cases filed in this litigation where people didn't actually mix, spray, or apply Paraquat or weren't in close proximity working in the situation where the Paraquat was being mixed, sprayed, and applied. They actually say, I live next door to a farm where I think they sprayed Paraquat. And those cases are in this litigation and Judge Rosenstingle is doing her best to finally clean this docket up and get the cases out of the MDL that don't belong there. Once that happens, we believe that we're going to get some traction in this litigation. Bellwether trials are set. We feel very, very strongly in the science behind the accusation that Paraquat causes Parkinson's disease, and we'll see where the chips fall. <music>